Hi guys, welcome back to Wayward Sun Custom. Today we have the Shadow System CR920 XP. Alright, so breaking down what this actually is. So this is basically Shadow System's um, counterpoint or response to the Glock G43X. I'm a big fan of the 43X. I'm also a big fan of the G48. I think they're great um, EDC platforms um, and everything. And this is Shadow Systems take on that. So I was very excited when I was at the uh, GOA convention um, over in Knoxville. Hopefully you guys have got to see this uh, interview. If you haven't, please watch the video on it. But I interviewed uh, Lawrence Wong from Shadow Systems. He took us through the CR920 XP and I fell in love with it. Um, for a number of reasons. One, like I was saying, I really like the the uh, size, the field, the ergonomics of the G43X and this is just every bit as ergonomic, if not more, than the uh, G43X and it's a tried and true platform. If you want to switch out Glock parts, you can do that. Um, but as it is, it's a great feeling gun and looks sharp too. But in addition to all that, and let me get rid of one of the two 15 round magazines that it comes with. Um, anyway, one of the things that really blew me away was this comp system. And if you watch the video, you'll see several times how to take this on and off, but it's a simple lever. Um, you don't need any tools or anything, it's just a simple lever. And I would show you here, um, there's um, no reason not to, other than the fact that from the factory, um, the literature that comes with the gun says that you are not supposed to take this off um, until you've got at least 50 rounds through it. Um, that's because it's it's fitted very tightly at the factory, and um, as you shoot, generally around 50 rounds, it'll settle into exactly where it's supposed to be, and it'll be much easier to take off. Not loose, but easier to take off. So we're going to do that just because if it's really hard to take off I'm just gonna look like an idiot so um, and like I said you can watch the uh, interview video with uh, Lawrence you can see me and him both uh, doing the uh, disassembly heck maybe I'll even drop that in um, this video just the, that part of it but it comes right off um, very simple very innovative you don't have like I said you don't need any tools and so I really like that I like comp guns and I will not lie but I also don't like having to carry around a toolkit with me to make adjustments on the flyer to change things out. It's one of the great things about the um, Glock platform and all of its and all of its um, clones, the Shadow System uh, series of guns as well. I mean, one of the great things is they're so easy to work on, and uh, I mean, and modify if you choose to do that. But anyway, moving on with the uh, gun itself, it has a very nice uh, semi-flat face trigger there. You have your accessory rail just like on, um, just like you would on a G43X MOS or any of the Shadow Systems guns. It does come optics ready. You got the cover plate included. It comes with a night vision front sight and serrated blacked out rear. And that is a sight picture that a lot of companies are really seeming to go to. Um, they either go with a uh, front sight that's a uh, tritium night sight or a fiber optic sight and then blacked out rear serrations which is fine with me because I really dig that. One thing that uh, is a departure from the G43X is that you do have a little bit of a toe kick here. Not a true magwell I wouldn't say but uh, you do have a little toe kick here that does have a little bit of a funnel action <clears throat> on the inside there you um, I mean you have lightning ports there you've got spiral fluted copper barrel copper coated you know PVD um, other than that takedown repair everything like that is if you're familiar with the Glock you know how to work on a shadow systems um, the only thing that is different is Glock doesn't and I don't know why but they don't offer a uh, comp like this um, and honestly it's been a long time since I've even seen one of their C models so anyway I don't know why but they just don't 
Fortunately for us, Shadow Systems does. Now, as far as the trigger goes, it is a really nice trigger, I think, at least thus far. So, see there's not a lot of take up. It's very crisp. And the reset is very short. So, all in all, this should be a very good trigger under stress, under firing. Um, another thing I really like is the slice serrations are very grippy and they're even recessed into a little window which makes them even easier to grab and then up top for press checks and such you have a very aggressive um, kind of a stair step kind of thing there I wouldn't even call that as call that serrations as much as uh, stair steps or a ladder but uh, anyway we're gonna take this to the range and see how it does and uh, we'll give you our final thoughts then shadow systems CR 920 XP All right, accuracy from the Shadow System CR920 XP Integrally Compensated Micro 9 Pistol. Um, this is one string of fire from uh, 5 yards, one string of fire from 15 yards, um, both 15 rounds, and then 5 rounds from 20 yards. And then this is one, uh, two strings of fire, 15 rounds each from 25 yards. So, not too bad. All right, guys, we are back from the range with the Shadow Systems CR920 XP. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Um, I dig it. I dig it. Uh, full disclosure, I did have, um, I did have uh, a little bit of feed issues with the first, like, say, five rounds, I think it was. After that, it settled in nicely, and it ate everything I wanted, and, you know, all that. Um, I think it just took a five-round, which is minuscule, uh, compared to a lot of guns. I think it just took a five-round um, break-in period. Um, after that, I've put 300 rounds through it, and I've had no issues. It's fed hollow points. It's fed um, brass full metal jackets. It's fed steel case. It's fed um, aluminum case. 115, 124, 147 grain. I will tell you this much. It likes the 115 grain stuff better than the 124s and the 147s. At least all the stuff I ran through it. I ran everything from Tula and Wolf Steel Cased Ammo, um, Blazer Brass, um, Federal, or, um, Federal and Blazer Aluminum Case, um, Underwood Hollow Points, um, Remington UMC and Winchester white box through it fed everything uh, beautifully including um, at least one magazine loaded up with a bunch of different stuff in it and it it worked fine um, absolutely no hitches in its giddy up the comps really seem to help out with the recoil and um, like I was saying the ergonomics the accuracy the uh, recoil reduction the um, reliability and everything it's all there um, yeah I mean overall I've always felt that Shadow Systems guns were a little overpriced um, I will say this probably to me it probably was but I really was intrigued with uh, this particular gun so I spent the money anyway and uh, so the thing is is whether something's overpriced or not really comes down to um, personal preference. Uh, I would like to see most of the Shadow System stuff, except for their Foundation series, but for their Elite and their Combats and all that, um, I would prefer to see them uh, probably $100, $200 less on average. But uh, honestly, after shooting this, I really can't complain all that much. And again, it does come with a front night sight. It comes with the Toolless comp. 
I mean, it's accurate, it's got a good trigger, it's optics ready, so who am I to say that it's overpriced? At the end of the day, I'm really impressed with the um, aesthetics, ergonomics, and really impressed with the performance. So, for me, it, this one kind of changed my mind and my thinking. Um, I may still feel that way. Uh, you know, I could shoot 10 other models of shadow systems and think they're overpriced. This one here, um, yeah, I think it's all in the eye of the beholder, so to speak. Um, this one here, I feel is worth every dime that I paid for it. Um, it works really well. At this point, I am beating a dead horse, and the poor thing deserves a rest. So, I'm just going to say, if you have any comments on the Shadow Systems platforms in general, by all means, hit me up. Send me a comment. Send me an email. But specifically, if you have any uh, any anecdotal evidence, you own, uh, own one of these, you've shot one of these CR920 XPs, um, you're just intrigued by it, whatever. If you have questions, comments, concerns, hit me up in the comments below or shoot me an email at waywardsuncustomgun at gmail.com. Either one is perfectly fine. You don't have to have a really good reason to send me an email. Send me an email, just say, hey, John, what's going on, buddy? And you know what? I will, I will respond to you and it'll be in a timely fashion. So... Uh, I really do appreciate you guys watching and that being said if you haven't already could you uh, throw me a bone here and subscribe like share hit the bell notification all that kind of stuff it all helps out the channel and it helps me bring you to a goodness like this and uh, and as always if you have any suggestions on things you'd like to see me review um, things that uh, you know it doesn't have to be guns it could be knives flashlights packs any kind of gear if there's something out there you would like me to, um, or even subscription boxes, if there's anything out there you'd like me to review, then by all means, shoot me an email. Let me know. Hit me up in the comments. And, um, hey, if it's feasible, I'll do it. If it's not, then I will humbly apologize and let you know why. But, uh, anyway, until next time, watch your six and carry on. Wayward Son, out. This is a really nifty little pistol.